Hey everyone, uh, today a lot is being made about Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition because uh, there's some comparison videos out there, docked, handheld, uh, all this jazz. We, there was a, a configuration leak that shows uh, the exact resolution of the game, and yes, there are there is parts of the game uh, that actually run at lower resolution than the original release on Wii, which never dipped below 480, which was the native resolution of a Wii. Uh, so it's causing quite a stir today as we get closer and closer to the release of the game, and has some people concerned because you know a giant adventure like this, people would like to play on their t TVs, um, you know, it's a big world and all that, uh, and even when you play in handheld, people really don't want to see something that looks worse than what they experienced, you know, forever ago on Wii, over a decade ago, so, uh, what's the answer to all this? Well, my answer is, we're giving away a copy of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Yes, folks, you know this already if you've watched any video this month, but this is the first one you're checking out, and you're just checking out Xenoblade stuff. Great time to enter to win a free copy. Then you can't really complain too much. You got it for free. All you have to do is comment on the video, like it, subscribe to the channel, and then hit the bell icon. That gets you one entry. If you do that on every video uh, this month, you will gain additional entries. You can also join our Discord server for an additional entry. You only get one additional entry for doing so down in the description below. Low. All right, so enough of that. Enough advertising to give away and, and, and getting subscribers. Blah, 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 blah. Here's the thing. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition uh, has different uh, dynamic resolution settings for docked and, and handheld. Now, this information I got uh, from at Massigator Dev over on Twitter. Uh, it says, according to the leaked uh, Definitive Edition configs, um, the game is basically running exactly on the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 engine, which I guess we've known for a while. Uh, but because of that, if you guys remember in Xenoblade Chronicles 2, that game did not necessarily look the greatest, especially resolution-wise. It was very, very muddy. Obviously, there was a lot of frame rate issues. Uh, when the DLC pack came out, you know, it really improved upon a lot of the, re the, the, not resolution issues, but it improved a lot on the frame rate issues and all that, and obviously delivered better textures and blah, blah, blah. So, um, well, this game... Xenoblade Chronicles uh, Definitive Edition in docked mode is running at 540 to 720p. So 720p is the max, and it runs at 540 at the lowest. Now, based on the video footage I have seen, it certainly appears to me as if it runs at 540 way more often than it runs at 720. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any other resolutions in between, so it's either 540, 720, it'll dynamically switch depending on what's happening on screen. Obviously, on a TV, this doesn't look that great. Even on 1080p TVs, it can look a little muddy, especially on 4K and you know, any large television display, even if it's just a 1080 display. Uh, it's not going to look that great. It's going to look muddy. Uh, this is interesting because, obviously, if you remember my debate with Player Essence about Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition being a remake or a remaster and all that, one of the sticking points about the game coming over was, oh, it's going to be in 1080p. It was just kind of assumed that it was going to be in 1080p because we're talking about a Wii game that ran at 480, why wouldn't we be able to get it at 1080p? And obviously the issue seems to be the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 engine they're building on um, isn't tailored well enough to the Switch's hardware. I don't know if it was originally uh, being built for the Wii U at one point and then switched over. I have no idea on the history of this engine they're using, but clearly the engine either needs work, needs replacement, or something because uh, they can't hit 1080 on an old game. Now, granted, this doesn't mean the game looks worse than the Wii version. We've obviously seen all the comparison screenshots and all that jazz where you can see there's clearly better textures, better modeling, all that jazz. So it should be still a better looking game overall because there's a lot more to visual presentation than just resolution. I mean, you could take Super Mario 64 and throw it into HD. It doesn't suddenly mean that it looks better than, say, actually remaking it in a newer engine. So um, I do think that, uh, that this is a very interesting prospect to me and something that uh, I can see why people are a little upset because when you see handheld mode, which runs from 378p to 540p. Those are the two resolutions it runs at. Um, it runs at 378p a lot. And 378p is substandard resolution. Like, we're talking below Wii, below GameCube. Uh, this is really low resolution. And it's not the first time we've seen a game 
run at these really low resolutions on Switch, but a lot of the games that do it also seem to be ones that are a lot more visually impressive. We're talking like Witcher 3 kind of thing. We're talking, you know, some of the best looking games of the generation. Obviously, it's going to be really hard to run that in handheld mode. Uh, so lower resolutions are expected in some degree. Now, they are trying to um, make it look better, uh, maybe taking some cues from what people have noticed with The Witcher 3. Um, they have enabled a sharpening filter because people uh, feel like sharpening in Witcher 3 makes it look a lot better on Switch than without it. Uh, and it says, you know, there's now two more options for it. Um, type and aware intensity. Um, it's a lot. Uh, it's less aggressive, but it's there. It exists. Um, it's it's just a, an interesting thing. Uh, one positive, of course, is the game, whether you're in handheld or docked, seems to run um, at close to a locked 30 FPS. In handheld, there's a few dips that go down to like 28, 27, but uh, most people aren't going to notice that, and it's only in the most intense situations. You know, you only have like a 2 or 3 FPS drop. That's not usually discernible by most people. So uh, the game, for the most part, runs at 30 FPS, and that's obviously more important. Having a, a really solid frame rate is much more important for gameplay purposes than, say, a higher resolution. But uh, it's interesting that they went this route um, with their engine and maybe didn't dial things back a little bit. Maybe the engine can't dial things back. I don't know. Like, the game looks a lot like Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and Xenoblade Chronicles uh, Expansion Pack. Like, it looks a lot like that game. It, it really, you know, is, is using, you know, probably some of the same assets maybe even from those games. And I, I just, I wonder um, sometimes, I mean, this isn't me questioning the... Uh, ability of monolith soft they i mean xenoblade chronicles 2 is a fantastic game xenoblade chronicles x i thought was great um even though it's a, a really different type of xenoblade game obviously the original xenoblade chronicles is fantastic and we know they helped out with games like breath of the wild so we know that monolith soft is a very talented company but it just seems to be the engine they developed in-house that they are using um maybe isn't the best one uh to be using on switch and i i kind of hope uh moving forward here that maybe they either evolve this engine to a point that it does run better on Switch so they can get higher resolutions, or uh, that they maybe try something else. Maybe they go with like Unreal Engine 4, like uh, you know, Nintendo's using in things like Yoshi's Crafted World. I feel like this is more of an engine problem than a game issue. Regardless, Xenoblade you know, Chronicles Definitive Edition should look better than the original game, but it is weird to think when you're playing in handheld especially, that you're going to be playing a lot of the game at a lower resolution than the original release back on Wii. It does feel weird saying that. That doesn't mean the game is going to look worse than the Wii one. But, I mean, if you have an issue with blurry textures and you have an issue uh, with these low resolutions and maybe, you know, even some a little bit poorer eyesight that makes it even harder on you... It's going to be difficult at times. Obviously, you know, it's a smaller screen, so maybe it'll be less of an issue, but it's still it's still something that's going to bother people. Um, you're going to see a lot of footage, a lot of screenshots. You're seeing a lot of footage and screenshots from various places um, already. So I'm showing some stuff. Know, I've showed some stuff off from uh, uh, Jansen Benchmarks, which uh, showed the, the FPS and all that. I showed off some, some stuff from Xenoblade Chronicles, uh, Definitive Edition, in terms of from Game Explain. Uh, where they did screenshot screen, screenshot comparisons of docked and handheld, showing um, just how ugly handheld looks in comparison to docked. Uh, but both of them are not that impressive, especially if you um, like. I'm I'm viewing this personally on 4K uh, computer monitors. They're only like 24 inch ones, so they're small. And even I can say it looks pretty muddy. It looks like a Wii game almost in some regards. Um, but again, I'm not knocking the game. It's going to be fantastic, and Future Connected looks amazing, and I think it's going to be worth picking up. Obviously, I wouldn't be giving away a copy if I didn't think this game was worthwhile. This does not affect the quality of the actual game, um, but it's more so a choice in development or a limitation of the engine or whatever the case might be. I think there's something they could have done better um, you know, at some point, but then it would require them making a whole new engine uh, or in adopting a whole new engine, which would have made development of this game take even longer. Uh, so maybe they just thought this would be something quicker they could do uh, in a current engine they're already using in the series. And maybe, you know, future Xenoblade games, maybe they are working on a different engine or a new engine or something. Because at some point, um, you would hope that Nintendo would kind of kind of put their foot down because they own Monolith Soft. They'd like, put their foot down and be like, hey, you know, we should be doing better than this. I know that it's kind of a niche game, but it's starting to gain in popularity. We should be doing better. I mean, you see us do other open-world games like Breath of the Wild. 
uh, that have insane detail and, and we don't drop to resolutions like this to pull that off. Like that's, I know it's a di little bit of a different art style, but still, um, it, there just has to be a better way. Uh, and I think, it's, I think it's just the engine. I, I think the engine is, um, uh, while better than the original, I suppose in some ways, uh, it's just not, um, efficient on the given platform. And that's weird because monolith stuff only works on the given platform. They don't work on anything else. They're owned by Nintendo. So I don't know, just my, my thoughts on this. I actually want to know your thoughts on, uh, this. Do you think, do you find this acceptable? Do you, would you rather see the Wii, uh, version, which I showed a little bit, you know, what, would it, would this game look better to you if they would have just took the Wii version and put it in 1080p? Like, is that something you would have preferred instead? In fact, you know, I'll make sure I, I have some footage I'm showing right now of what this game looks like in 1080p. And, you know, just running in Dolphin or whatever. Like, th this to me is something that I think looks decent, looks passable, looks like something my people might want instead of what they did with the, the Definitive Edition stuff. Not counting the, fu the, the future connected content, but I don't know. This is just all personal preference at this point. You either have a problem with it or you don't. Um, personally, I kind of expect more from Nintendo, but you know what? Um, it is just kind of like, to me, a remaster of a Wii game. Um, it's not some big release like the new Paper Mario game coming up that I, that I expect much more from. Uh, but I don't know. Just my two cents on this. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments below. Be sure to enter for a chance to win a copy of this game uh, by commenting, liking the video, subscribing, all that jazz. Anyways, folks, um, thank you so much for tuning in on uh, Memorial Day here in the United States. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.